Hello everyone, uh, Brenton here from It's Hockey Night. Um, yeah, let's get to the news. So today is towards the end of the 28th of September, um, and uh, the game's still going, Game 6. Um, so obviously not going to report on that, because that video will be extremely outdated when this comes out, and it's the 29th. Uh, of the ninth in Australia, where I am right now. So yeah, let's uh, let's jump into the news. First things first. Bob McKenzie unleashed a uh, grenade about eight hours ago when he said that Jack Eichel, um, surprisingly, is out there on the trade market. Um, he then recanted that and obviously looked into it a little bit more, but obviously um, he heard a little bit of chatter. Um, so it is a good time to kind of update. Uh, and we we did get a really good update of, of where it is with Eichel right now. At least um, I, I believe where where it's at is 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 pretty accurate. Uh, right now I'm in the 50th anniversary Eichel jersey, Ben H Sports. Yeah, you guys know. You guys know. Uh, go check him out. He's great. Um, but yes, uh, great jersey. Cannot recommend this jersey enough. So, uh, it looks as if Eichel doesn't want to move on from Buffalo, at least right now, on face value. And it looks like Buffalo doesn't want to trade him. Um, whether that's because they couldn't get what they wanted for him, um, that's another story. But it looks like, uh, Eichel has been in numerous conversations with the team, uh, the last, uh, few months in regards to where they're at and where they're going, which is completely understandable, because when you look at this team, they do not have a lot of NHL caliber players signed. Right now they have five forwards, maybe six if you count JST, and, uh, five defenders, uh, who have, like, somewhat NHL caliber signed. Um, so they have a lot to do this offseason. It doesn't seem like they are doing very much of it and they've let go of a lot of their head office staff. So I can definitely understand it from Eichel's standpoint that, uh, yeah, he wants to win now. This is, you know, he's one of the best players in the league and, um, well, things aren't really progressing that way at all. Um, as it stands, I mean, you know, two of those con three of the contracts are Lazar, Stall and Okpozo out of the five forwards. The other two are Eichel and Skinner. So they're going to need to be able to play with someone. Um, obviously there's a few, you know, uh, players that need to be signed and in in, in, with that are RFAs so that, you know, expect them to stay, but you know, the signings still need to be done. Um, and they're like 13 mil before the cap floor. So yeah, it doesn't look like there is a trade right now at least. But yeah, it's not good that we're seeing that that the the next group uh, of superstars, um, you know, after the Crosby Ovechkin era, like this is the the core. Your Mick Davids and Eichels, um, not really happy where they are right now. So, uh, very interesting to see where it's all going to go and and how it's all going to unfold. Uh, Goss Despair is uh, on the trading block uh, reported uh, by LeBron uh, right now. So usually I don't do trade rumors unless it's from a valid source. I feel like LeBron, um, Kenzie and a few others, because they look into it a little bit further and they, they do give a little bit more information. It's not just like, I'm hearing, it, it's usually a little bit more uh, involved that. It looks like he's on the trade market right now. So um, yeah, which is no surprise. Uh, Proveroff is, is doing so well. Um, their defense in total is doing very well, so you just see that Ghost uh, isn't r as necessary as he was. He's also definitely, since that uh, darling season where he came into the NHL and got 49 points in 64 games, he was pretty good for the next few, but uh, last year, a lot of injuries, only managed 12 points at 42 games. Uh, didn't do a great deal in the playoffs, um, didn't also play all the games, so... So yeah, so I, I think it's, it's they're looking to move on from that 4.5 mil cap hit for the next three years. Whether that's possible or not, that's another story or what they're going to get. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at the, the usual contenders in on this trade. Toronto comes to mind. They're always after someone that can get points in, in a puck moving sense. I don't know if it's a good move, but you know. Just, just look for that. But yeah, it's interesting that he's on the market. Uh, Sikora and Perry have gone bloop and uh, have swapped. And uh, yeah, so the Vegas Golden Knights uh, have moved uh, Perry, who uh, I think it was two seasons ago, came up and got like 12 goals in like 18 games. I remember I had him in the fantasy uh, league around then, and that, that, that kind of won me around in the finals just because he, he just got really hot for no reason. He came up from the AHL and, uh, and did well. Uh, he only played 16 games last season. You know, he's not really an NHL caliber play. He's kind of one of those fringe guys. Same with uh, Sakura. Um, yeah, there's a bit of a nothing trade here. I just thought I'd mention it. Um, more because of that 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 little uptick that, that Peary got when it came up. But yeah, he's never really been able to permanently uh, break into the NHL. Either Sakura, he's uh, 25 years old, never really played a full season. Um, it doesn't look like he probably will. So it just looks like both these players, both these... Um, 
teams have, have swapped. Um, there's not much of a real cap difference, 25,000. Um, so, and that benefits Vegas Golden Knights. So I don't know if that 25K ends up meaning anything down the road. It might. Um, and the Blackhawks, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty well fine. They're not going to be really contending at all. So, yeah. Robert Haig has re-signed with the uh, Flyers at uh, 1.6 million uh, for the next two years. So, uh, yeah, 1.6 every year. So 3.2 million in total. That's probably the way I should have said it. Um, so pretty good deal for a, for a handy defenseman. Um, very handy uh, player. I actually thought he would have asked for a bit more, but obviously, I don't know, with COVID times and whatnot, if he's taken a, a little bit less of a deal and only gone two years and... Um, Figured he might be able to get more down the road. But, um, yeah, very interesting um, to see where they go from here. But it looks like Flyers are definitely, look, as I reported just before, look like they're moving on from Ghost. So, uh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, no positive tests in the bubble, uh, which is no surprise. There's a lot less teams in the bubble right now, and none of them are really leaving. But I just thought for the ninth straight week, um, no real tests. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, last but not least, Tory Krug. It looks like he's been offered six by six point five million a year um, f for his services at Boston, and still has not signed. So they're definitely looking at offers uh, for a trade, which is what I reported on yesterday. But it just looks like we have a bit of a number that they've offered, and um, and they're not willing to budge from that at least at the moment. So we'll see how that all goes. Anyway, guys, uh, that is the whole video. If the cup is raised today, there'll be a lot more videos to obviously just recognize the fact that Tampa Bay has won it. Um, otherwise, it will be a review of how Dallas managed to make a miracle comeback and get this to Game 7. Uh, we'll also have a few other videos of how Tampa Bay won it, um, if, they, if they win again, and who um, should have won the Conn Smythe, if I disagree with that. So a fair few videos today, plus we've got random hockey jersey opening five which is all edited, it's ready to go. So that'll be live in a few hours. And that one is from Ben H Sports. Although he did, I, I thought that away jersey from Florida was just like, oh, well, it's a cool jersey, but apparently it's very hard to get. So that's uh, that's interesting. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, hit the like button. If you made it all this way and you have not subscribed, it really does help us out to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, uh, yeah, comment down below any of the topics that I've said. I always like to read your comments. It make, makes my day. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and bye.